call. Got a call for this nest here in a bush. The customer actually noticed it. I guess they were you know, watering the plants or just kind of out and they, they looked down and they were like, oh, is this a hornet's nest? And they saw it because it's kind of uh, hidden. You know, you wouldn't normally see it just walking around, but then you get up here and then you look into the bush and there it is. But as you can see, not much uh, life. I don't know if there's really anything going on with this right now, so kind of shaking it. Don't really see anything. So I'm going to cut into this, cut it out, and uh, see if anything does wake up. A couple of them. Let's see a little bit. Yeah, there's some still some life left in this one, but not too much. Good thing I'm suited. Always, uh, always better to be uh, more cautious. Nice day today. Low humidity, not too hot. This. Even place I might have to vacuum some just because there's some life left and I don't want the customer to have to deal with these uh, angry yellow jackets. So it looks like a queen in there. Saw another one fly away. So it's got males and queens. I don't know if that was dig damage from uh, the, when the wind blows and they weren't really doing any more maintenance on the nest or what, but got a hole in the bottom you can see. A little larva, some larva left, but mostly everything's hatched out. So not much of a catch with this nest. It's like eight workers. Yeah, a couple of those were flying around, but nest is in here. It's windy in the camera too. Bear with me. So something curious with this nest, um, as I was finishing up, I cut the nest out of the, the bush and I uh, was being circled by some yellow jackets. There were a few workers I vacuumed up, but um, there's actually some queens that actually came back to the nest. I netted them and then I put them in the Ziploc bag. So there were, there were I think there were like at least three queens. I was able to net two of them, um, but it was interesting because they were kind of aggressive. They uh, circled me, one of them actually landed on my head. 
Um, so I wasn't really sure about that behavior, but I guess aerial yellow jackets, uh, the queens are a little more primitive and kind of function as workers before they go into hibernation being August 8th. It's, maybe it's early and they're still, I don't know, it's like they assume some worker responsibilities going back to the nest and kind of try to def defend it after it's uh, been removed. Um, so I'm just gonna release, see what they do. There's where they put all the pollen, come back with pollen on their hind legs, they kind of shake it off into there. There's two uh, taller honey pots. Really cool. You see the queen on the left? Queen and about, I don't know, 60, 70 workers? I don't know, just a guess. The wax covering on this part of the side. On this impatience. So they got like nectar and then pollen for those two, like the lighter color periphery ones. They look like they have a liquid in there. Not too aggressive towards me when it just flew out. So, alright, thanks for watching.